Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to talk to you a little bit about the power of habit. Habit is doing something without thinking and to be honest 80% of our life is based on habit. Think about it, when you're putting on your trousers in the morning, do you really think whether you're going to start with the right foot or the left foot? Not really. When you're driving, you probably don't think either. Maybe at the beginning when you were learning to drive, you were thinking. Maybe at the beginning when you were learning to put on your trousers, which was in your childhood, you were thinking. But majority of time, we actually don't think. If I looked at your schedule throughout the day, I could literally write down what time you get up, whether you actually press the snooze button or you wake up and get up, and what you do after, what time you eat breakfast, how you eat it, and how you work throughout your day. And most of our days are based on habits. Pretty much 80% of our day is based on habits. Now, successful people have successful habits. I was in Toronto for about a week training with my mentor, Bob Proctor, and I picked his brains on what makes him so successful. And what he said to me was, I have a successful working habits. Now, you might know his story. He wasn't always successful. At the age of 26, he was actually struggling and uh, he was always in debt and he had two months of high school and not very successful guy. But now at the age of 86, he's not only vital and very much alive and very fit and healthy, but he's earning a lot of income doing what he loves and helping people all over the globe. So what he said to me, he has three main working habits that make him so successful. Number one is he wakes up and he gets up. Now, I don't know about you, but that's probably been one of my main pitfalls uh, to press the snooze button. I mean, I know lots of successful people don't have that problem, but I've been struggling with that. And I know, I mean, obviously I've learned from Bob and I know, okay, wake up, get up. And literally this morning I had this th thought in my head, wake up, get up. I mean, you're like, Bob, get up. And literally I've done it. And, you know, obviously your day is longer and you're doing uh, stuff that you need to be doing. And you suddenly have more time to do everything that you need to do. Then the second habit uh, of Bob's is sell something every single day. Now, you might not work in sales or a business. Uh, you might be doing something else. But it's, it's the... Um, income producing activities that you're doing every single day. You've got to have actions that are producing the income that you desire. A lot of us get entangled in a lot in administrative stuff, in uh, HR, and lots of other things that are not producing income. And as an entrepreneur, I always need to ask myself, what are the things that I'm good at and are actually producing my income? And what are the other things that I'm not that so good at and I don't so much like doing and maybe I need to offload to someone else delegate to someone else it's a continuous inquiry because if you're not spending time on what's producing income you're actually not growing your business plus strategy the third the third habit he said was every single evening he writes down six goal producing activities goal achieving activities that he literally takes off throughout the next day and so the rule about these six goal achieving activities is there's two of them there's four of them that are quite manageable so you know you're going to do whatever you're always doing th towards your goals and then one or two of them is something that you've been procrastinating about and something that maybe you've been afraid of but you know that it's going to lead you towards your goals and the rule is when you start your day next Next day you actually started with the first two. Now these are the three habits that make Bob so successful and I've done my research around the top successful uh, consultants and uh, pretty much they all have successful habits and a lot of them are studying habits uh, and a lot of them are working habits. Now implementing habits is not such an easy thing as you know I mean I don't know about you but even that snooze button can cause a problem for me sometimes uh, and we often battle with habitual um, eating healthy or exercising, doing things, let's say you might be a business owner or maybe you are working in sales and actually scheduling X amount of meetings per week so that you have your business skyrocket. We battle with those habits that are actually producing the most benefit. And it's not easy to change our habits. Some, lots of us battle with procrastination, with la laziness, with putting things um, till the last minute and snooze button, <laughs> my favorite thing. Um, and it's not so easy to change our habits. Very often we've tried to force different behavior. Maybe we eat healthy for a little while and then we bounce back. 
And that's because we haven't changed the source of the habit. And the source of the habit is what we call paradigm. Paradigm is our thinking process behind the habit. And so what I would love to do actually those of you that are around Dublin or in Ireland, if you guys can come down to Dublin this Saturday, I will be doing two and a half hour workshop and really sharing the principles of how to master our habits. Now for me, this is the source of my success. And as I said, I improve every single day. I fly to Bob every quarter and I learn and I pick his brains and I pick other people's brains and I change and I reshuffle my habits and it makes me more and more successful. And I know it's not easy to master ourselves. It's not easy to eliminate bad habits and it's not easy to implement successful habits, but there are principles that make them possible, make it possible. And this is what I'm truly passionate about because I know this is the cause of success for everybody. And I would love to invite you, if you can come down to Dublin this Saturday, please come along and we will have a fantastic workshop for two and a half hours where, uh, where I will be sharing principles of how to change habits permanently, how to implement successful habits permanently so that you can actually achieve whatever you desire. Now, if you can't come down to Dublin, then at least have a look at your habitual behavior, sit down and really ask yourself, what are the things that I'm doing automatically that are giving me the results that I've got and what sort of habits can I implement and start doing it. I mean, um, it might be difficult for you to do it on your own, but even in order to help yourself, you can get a, an accountability person, someone uh, external that will hold you to account. Do it for 30 days, 60 days and see what happens. But if you really want to dig in into what makes people successful, how to create successful habits, and you can join us this Saturday, please do. And I will be so delighted to share this with you. So hope you have a lovely week and take care.